Vishakhapatnam, with a population of almost 2 million, spread over 600 square kilometers, is the largest city of Andhra Pradesh. The city showcases many identities. Important port on the east coast, growing IT sector, regional tourist destination and naval base. The long coastline of Vishakhapatnam presents varied character from long stretches of beach to rocky shores and hills. This diversity in landscape, topography and ecology offers a large untapped recreational and tourist potential. However, the beachfront is vulnerable to various hazards. The city has witnessed cyclones and storms in history. In October 2014, the city was hit by a hood-hood cyclone that devastated large part of the city infrastructure and most of the beach front and open spaces, leaving them unusable and depriving the coastal communities of their livelihood. As the city recovers, the vision is to redevelop the beach front such that it enhances the resilience and expands the recreational, social and public benefits. The master plan strives to offer three R's, restoration, redevelopment Recreation. The Beachfront Redevelopment Master Plan Project Site extends between the coastal battery junction up to Bhimuni Patnam. The 30 km long stretch is dotted with various heritage and tourist sites. Many of these sites are underused and disconnected. The beach also has eco sensitive zones with sand dunes and turtles' nesting areas. RK Beach, Rushikonda and Bhimili are popular beaches on site, where most festivals, beach events are organized throughout the year. However, these segments of the beachfront are disconnected and lack a unified plan. Most of the activities are concentrated on the RK Beach, rendering it overcrowded and overused. The entire stretch has sparse public amenities. The retaining wall and coastal protection measures are also sporadic. The beachfront also has fishing settlements with major community concentration in Jalari Peta and Mangamari Peta. The vision is reinstated in various meetings held with the officials, community representatives and various city departments. Taking cues from these understanding and the best practices from across the world, the master plan has been developed on seven strategies. The strategies focus upon restoring natural assets, building up on man-made assets strengthening interrelationships, enhancing resilience, develop infrastructure, integrate and develop complementary spaces. The master plan zoning delineates the site area into specific zones with designated permissible activities applicable for the future. Along with zoning, the master plan offers significant area-based interventions. The 10 km long and continuous cycling and pedestrian track that meanders between the beach bed and beach road is proposed. The path is designed to complement the existing beach geomorphology and also to bring in connection between parks along the beachfront. The tracks are made on stilts, allowing free movement of the flora and fauna on the beach bed. The beach road is one of the significant roads of the city, witnessing heavy traffic and congestion during the peak hours. The situation worsens during any festival or an event on RK Beach. The proposed design for RK Beach offers a new identity to the area, along with enhanced resilience and unified character. The existing walking space adjacent to the beach is proposed to be widened from approximately 4 meters to 11 meters wide with continuous dedicated bicycle lane. The existing service lanes 
and the main carriageways are merged for better efficiency and to create more open green spaces for the residents and visitors. Disabled friendly access to the beach are provided at regular interval. The NTR Circle Precinct is also redesigned considering the pedestrian and traffic load. The development in Tenety Park area is proposed to be such that it becomes an active alighting spot from Kailasagiri and Jodugulla Palium, providing viewpoints for capturing scenic views. The design shall also give large green zones and improved beach access. At the Bhimli Beach, the seafront will be integrated with culturally significant buildings around, like the lighthouse. It shall also be provided with improved amenities, newer public plazas and dedicated hawker space. Comprehensive redevelopment strategy for Rushikonda Beach involves creating a destination for the tourists and locals by providing 15 meters wide promenade, organized hawker spaces and bigger public plazas along with the water feature.